I'm very happy. Energy. I wonder why. Um, last night I heard a lot of um, people talking in regards to um, the sacking of uh, Pochettino. But this morning, energy. Mourinho, hello. Welcome to Tottenham. Uh. Hey guys, your boy FTO back again with another video. What are you saying, Shakes? It's H E W G, Triple Z. Ha! And today, guys, as you can tell by the title below, it's a Banks video. It's Banker. Look, no rules, specs. You're not finding a Tottenham shit because stuff's wow. happening. I don't care. No rules. I don't care. Clubs, look, if players can pay, they're getting paid to play and they're moving. Listen, fans can wear whatever. Okay. So the rules have changed. Specs yeah, has special. changed the rules. Wow. Listen, guys. Wow. As you know, Pochettino has been. He's been fired. And who's replacing? No, I can't do this actually. Jose right. Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. Get that out of here. United all the way. But yeah, as you know, he's been sacked. Shakes, what do you think about it? Let us know. I don't understand how you can sack a manager that has guaranteed you top four. Top four. Top four positions at the end of the season for every season that he has been there. Going to the Champions League final in this previous season. Well, it's actually even this year. What, May? Yeah, yeah. This June, like whatever, five months Champions League say. final. Mm. They potentially could have won the league in that season that Leicester won it if the players weren't bold jobs, which is not down to Pochettino, it's down to Tottenham history. <laughs> That's true. And they sacked him, so... But Jakes, how long has he been there for? You've been there for four, a couple, five, five, four or five years. And they've spent a bit of money in a way with the likes of Mora and that, and he, he hasn't, hasn't spent money. No. That's the thing, he, they, he made that team, they, them okay. not. Then okay, when, but when when they got rid of Bell and it, you that's when they spent jobs. money. You said they're both. That's jobs. when they spent money. Do you think do you think Tottenham have achieved or not achieved what they should have by by now with the players that they got they've got? Do you think that he's done well in general? I think in he's general. done well. I think he's done very well because okay. he took these players from being pretty much nothing. Like the only player there that I'll say was even something, but even on the world stage, it's probably like Ericsson. Mm. The rest of them were just guys that think, but he brought out the best in those players. Yeah. I mean, when Tottenham were playing before, good football, before they were playing Poch good football. There, before Poch Colour came Poch. there, they spent money buying Lamella and all of these kind of guys, and none yeah. of them were performing or anything true. like that. He brought them guys to be a top four team. True, true, true. But, guys, let's now take a look at what this guy's done recently, which is probably why he's got sacked. So, the stats are shows, as you already know, we all kind of know. Okay, so, um, they haven't won in five games, and then have slipped to 14th. And 20 points behind the leaders, Liverpool. I mean, United, we're not doing that great, so, boy. It's mad, I won't lie. They lost 7-2 to Bayern Munich in the Champions League. And in the following game, then go and lose 3-0 against Brighton. It's a bit mad. Then draw 1-1 against Watford. It's a bit mad. It is a bit mad. But we're not winning. 1-1, one, one, not winning in five one, games. One. In five games, I mean, that's not the worst thing. If you've now lost all five games, then we need to start looking into the thing. But knowing the history of this guy, knowing that this guy just got you to a Champions mm. League final, it's obviously not an issue with management or anything like that. But we're in the era where when things ain't going right, we blame the manager. Don't so, blame players, but don't do anything is, like that. Daniel Levy and, you know, uh, himself have had issues with the players and all of that kind of stuff. Now, if you're having issues with players, can I ask you lot a question? Who is the last person for me you want to bring in? I will say Mourinho, personally. Personally, that guy's player management is like oil and water. They don't go, don't if know. you didn't people know. Say, people say this, but... This guy, this guy, United, there's meant to be bus ups of some sort. Even his team, Chelsea, his main team, with his second turn at Chelsea, problems. Real Madrid, problems. Like, the guy, wherever the guy goes, he has problems with players. Hence why, I'm even surprised, like, he's only got a contract to 2023, I think? 22-23 season, he's contracted to. I'll be surprised if he doesn't leave before that. Yeah, I'll be surprised. Do I'll be surprised if, before, if he doesn't leave before that. Do is that what Tottenham needs? You do. Do the thing is, I would say though that his players, these players are dead. Though. I mean, if you're gonna get rid of Pochettino, <laughs> you have to get Mourinho. There's no other manager that's up to the caliber, up to scratch, and that is available. So, if you're gonna get rid of Poch. Go and get Aaron Rodgers from this. 
With Brendan Rodgers even won anyway. Guy I rate Brendan Rodgers, bro. What'd you, what'd Guy get Brendan Rodgers, That's bro. still going backwards. Pochettino, for me, is still a better manager than Brendan Rodgers. And I rate Brendan Rodgers very highly. Probably one of my best managers. Okay. But for me, they had to go and get Mourinho because he's the only guy that's available that can do a job and has got no, I guess, issue. I agree, but I Top just feel like... the Premier eight. League within this time, this I'm, period that he's at the thing. I'm not going to lie, those players there are Mourinho. When like he was that first time at Chelsea, Mourinho, mm. the, the kind of players that are, are at Tottenham, he would have loved. Wanyama. No, that's Essien, that's Essien. He will turn, no, but what I'm saying is that he will turn these nah. guys, he will turn these guys into absolute ballers that we were, so Soko that is on and off, all of a sudden, yeah, he will become Pogba 2014 or 15 at Juventus all of a sudden. That's like, that's what this guy will actually do with that's those kind of players. Those, I feel like that Tottenham squad is actually made for a Marino, personally. That's what's so mad. Like, and now it wouldn't surprise me if they do relatively well. It wouldn't. They're gonna win the Premier League. Has, yeah, I think Mourinho going there. It could go either way. I don't know. He's per, his his player management it's isn't the greatest one. for me. Well, people say player management isn't the greatest, but for your player management must be good for you to get the best out of your players, which he's always been able to do at any team. No, he he, he did win. Team. He did so win. He you did. can't you can't say player management ain't good because to, for you to make a winning team, that's player management. For so, me, guys, I, I, I think we agree though. We agree that it's, I don't feel like it's the right thing to set Pochettino. Yeah. He, he did do a lot for that club in general. I'm just annoyed now because I know Tottenham are going to now win stuff. Well, you think so? To, I, don't, I know so. I, I don't Tottenham know. are still a good team and they've got yeah. good players and, and they've got a manager, a winning manager. Uh, well, in now the Premier I feel, League, I still feel like they're wow, still behind, okay. still behind Liverpool City. In, 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 I'm not talking about points. I mean, in terms of the actual squad, the actual team, I, I still feel I like think, Liverpool City nah, are I still think, ahead. I still feel like, like in terms of like team, if you were to go man for man kind of team, I still think that the Tottenham team all round is is better than the Liverpool team. But the wow. Liverpool team, that's, they has a they have a cohesion. They have a thick. They they have. Yeah, a, but that's what have, we're talking about. We're have, just talking about they have cohesion. But just, in terms of man to man players, I still Liv think the Liverpool the, the Tottenham team is dead. That's Liv why Liverpool played Tottenham. Think. Yeah, mm. Liverpool played Tottenham ten times. Yeah. Yeah. Who wins more games? Who wins more games? Based on how things are now, I'll say think I'll say Liverpool. But knowing the team, if it was just for me. Going based on based on just the just the players and whatever, I'll say Tottenham, the Tottenham team. And finally, before we go, guys, alright. So who, what do you think the actual problem was at at um, Tottenham? What do you think actually caused it? The, problem, the results? Do you agree that is the results? I don't really think it was it was a results thing. Because I don't understand that. I don't get. I don't get this. This football climate this guy, right now. It doesn't guy, make no guy, sense. Let me tell it you doesn't something. make no sense. Because this is what game week twelve, and people are talking like we are in flipping February. But they said, but it it kind yeah. of started. It didn't yeah. start this season. That's the thing. The losses didn't. It, it was towards the end of last season where they had a bad run. They also That's had a bad true, run though. towards the end of last season. That's not true. That's it. Did, That's it not started. true. They got to the Champions League final. They, no, no, they not the Champions League final. Not the Champions League. Leave like, the Champions. Yeah, the run. Champions League. We know when we've agreed earlier that they that obviously he got them to a final. We know that fact. I'm talking about but that I'm like, saying they didn't have a bad run towards the end of last season. In the season. Premier League, no, they didn't. They did all right. Hence why they even got top four, and hence why they made it to the Champions League. All without all with Harry Kane being injured for like the last five six games. You know they what? Have a bad we'll run. look at the side. guys. Let us know in the comments below if Tottenham had a bad run towards the end of the season. I do feel like it was to do with kind of pay and and like players not being happy with how much they're being played and there being little busts up between I don't know the manager and players possibly. But the likes of Ericsson should be on more than 75k a week. Facts. So if that's not happening, you're not going to get the best out of the play. At the end of the day, it's a profession. It's a profession. No matter how as us as fans think about it, then it's a job to them. And you will want to get paid more wherever and go to that place than stay where you are and getting less. So for me, if the performances are going down, it's no surprise, personally. I think, I, I think it's I not their human beings. I need to enter into a new, a new line of work. 
what? I might become a manager's manager, you know what I'm saying? The manager's agent. Because, like, <laughs> there's no job security for reckon, managers. Do you reckon there's actually managers? There has agents? to be. I don't think there is, but I feel like there's a need for that now. Because <laughs> there's no job security for yeah, my managers. Yeah, you need These to, guys you need to good. get in the contract that you can't, you can't sack him. <laughs> Message me. Listen, yeah, you know, imagine if get eight, some serious if stuff in managers contracts. are like that, like, oh, you can't sack him. But to be fair, look at Mourinho. Mourinho didn't like buy a house in Manchester. Like he didn't buy one because he knows probably that. Why would he buy one? Why would he buy a house? He lived in a hotel the whole time he was there. The bill was like, what was it, like 750 grand? Yeah, why you buy one when you know that these lot are just sucking guys every week? Why am I buying a house? So I should buy a house and yeah. I just be paying for it, paying for the, the mortgage or doing this. But wait, did you see the thing where he's earned like something like 60 odd million, like just from sackings in like the last like five, six years? Yeah, it's that's mad. Good. That's good. Yeah, that's, but wait, so, so it's financially, it's that's good good. as a manager to get sacked. It's good. They would have paid him out. They would have paid Poch out. They would have got some peace. Not necessarily, depending on his contracts and what's, what's going on there, but that's true. So, this is a joke. It's mad. It is it's a mad joke. But it's serious, though, guys. Yeah, let us know. It's just a quick reaction video to the whole sacking. Um, yeah, we don't know. This is actually one of the maddest sackings I've ever actually. This is, this is, I don't even know. Uh, it is mad, it anyway, is mad. But yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you think Mourinho is gonna get on? Amazing. Amazing. I, th I think I think he will. I think he's got a team there. I don't know how well they'll do. Obviously, this season's pretty much possibly a write-off in terms of top four. It could happen. It could happen. It could get. Yeah, it could. It could. It could happen. But yeah, this season probably we'll have to wait till like next season to see what really it's about. But I think you you could do well with the players there. Um, whether or not he'll get money to buy because he used to, he's used to having money. So we win the Champions League. Let me go on to no. nothing now. Go, go, say it to the camera with your chest. Tottenham will win the Champions League. At your chest. Tottenham will win the Champions League. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Peace.